Pre-season is obviously a very different ball game from the regular season, and many fans have had to learn this the hard way. What you see in pre-season is not always what you're going to get in the regular season, so it's always best to not get too excited. The players in this video taught us exactly that. We're talking about these seven players who sold us dreams in pre-season. Let's start with Nicholas Jackson. Remember that game against Newcastle during Chelsea's 2023 pre-season tour? That game in particular sold Chelsea fans dreams dreams. The goal, the touches, and that step over. Chelsea swore they had the Didier Drogba regem right there. And it wasn't even just that game. Against Brighton, he scored and provided two assists. In fact, that entire pre-season was Jackson's tournament. He scored in all but one of Chelsea's games in that Premier League summer series. Chelsea fans were so excited to see this, but the season started and they saw something very different. They hardly got the skills. What they got instead were a truckload of big chances missed. But it wasn't just Nicholas Jackson who sold Chelsea dreams that summer, Mikhailo Mudrik did as well. He was signed in January 2023 and it wasn't the best start. But when the 2023 pre-season came around, Chelsea fans felt confident that they had a star on their hands. The runs he made, his touches and his goals showed fans exactly why the club spent £62 million on him. But the season started and it was back to regularly scheduled programming. He was just so underwhelming and it became obvious to Chelsea fans that the pre-season performances were just a smokescreen. On the other side of London, it was Gabriel Jesus selling dreams to Arsenal fans in 2022. He had just been signed and he looked like the guy who was going to bring the Premier League trophy to Arsenal. Jesus was terrifying during that pre-season and he and Arteta's Arsenal looked like a match made in heaven. Because of his performances in pre-season, people had Jesus as one of the favourites for the Premier League league golden boot that season and he even broke a record for the number of FPL owners heading into the first match day of the season. That was how much his pre-season performances swayed the entire world. And to be fair to him, he actually started the season well, but he ended up scoring just 11 goals in all competitions in his first season, which was obviously far, far from the golden boot in any competition at all. And considering that two years later they're talking about selling him after having scored just 19 goals in six 69 games for Arsenal, one can say the Brazilian really sold dreams to everyone in the summer of 2022. It's important to note that Kai Havertz had the opposite effect when he joined in 2023. He was pretty laughable in pre-season, but he ended up being one of the club's best players at the end of the season. Anyway, let's leave the Premier League for a second now. Barcelona fans, do you remember Oriol Romeu in pre-season in the summer of 2023? The man was on fire that summer the Barcelona fans thought they'd finally gotten their Busquets replacement. But the season started and he was far from the form he showed in those friendlies. He was so bad that he was quickly banished to the bench and one season later, he was sent back to Girona, leaving Barcelona still searching for the heir to Sergio Busquets' throne. It was sort of the same thing with Chelsea some years ago. Callum hudson Adoy was so impressive in the 2018 pre-season that we have fans saying that he could bench Eden Hazard that season. It was that same year that Bayern wanted to buy the winger for big money. Yes, he was that good. He was just 17 years old at the time and they swore that he was the future of the club. But he's now 23 playing for Nottingham Forest, so all of that was nothing but dreams. Now, since the Community Shield is pretty much a pre-season game as well, we just have to add Darwin Nunez to this list. He became Liverpool's record signing in the summer of 2022 and in his first official game for the club, he came off the bench to win the penalty which put Liverpool 2-1 ahead and went on to score the clincher in a stoppage time to help the Reds beat Man City to the Community Shield trophy. Meanwhile, in that same game, Haaland missed the sitter and failed to score, and this led to all sorts of comparisons between the two strikers. Because of that game, many Liverpool fans said that Nunez could win the Premier League Golden Boot and could end up being better than Haaland. But the season proper was so far from what the Community Shield showed us. Haaland went on to win the treble and the Golden Boot breaking all sorts of goal-scoring records on the way, while Nunez, well, he ended that season with just nine Premier League goals. The difference in performances between those two was so glaring. It was night and day. Let's now wrap up with Anthony Martial. In the summer of 2022, he returned to Old Trafford after his loan spell at Sevilla, and he went on to light up the pre-season games with his performances. Everyone saw that and said that the boy was well and truly back. The game against Liverpool was the one that really 
nearly sold us dreams. He dazzled and scored as United beat Liverpool 4-0. Everyone saw that scoreline and thought that Martial and Eric Ten Hag would cook that season, but they only ended up being cooked, finishing 14 points off the top of the table that season, and infamously losing 7-0 to Liverpool in their Premier League meeting. So the moral of this story guys, don't get carried away by the performances from players in pre-season. Wait until the season starts because a lot of these players are really only selling us dreams. Are there more players who have sold dreams in pre-season? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on any new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.